Hello guys, in this video we are going to review how to calculate the molarity of ions in a solution. In this question we need to calculate the molarity of aluminum and chloride ions in a solution prepared by dissolving 0.250 mole of aluminum chloride in 315 milliliters of water. So, how do we solve this? Here are the steps. The first step is that we have to find the molarity of the solute. Okay, what is the solute in this case? Well, our solute is going to be aluminum chloride right here, which is going to have a formula of AlCl3, because we know that aluminum ions have a charge of 3 plus and chloride ions have a charge of 1 minus. So in order to form a neutral ionic compound, we need one aluminum cation and three aluminum negatively charged ions or anions. Okay, so how to calculate the molarity? Molarity equals to the moles of the solute so moles of AlCl3, aluminum chloride, divided by the liters of solution. So from here, we can simply plug in the numbers. We have the moles, 0.250 moles of aluminum chloride, divided by the liters of water. So we have the milliliters which we will have to convert into liters using a conversion factor. The milliliters are on the bottom, liters on the top, and we know that one liter is 1,000 milliliters. So if you do this calculation, you are going to get 0 0.714 mole per liters of aluminum chloride. Okay. First step is done. Now we know what is the molarity of aluminum chloride in the solution. What is the next step? So now we have to find the so-called ion to solute ratio. So basically how many ions will you form when you dissolve aluminum chloride in a solution? So we can show that using the following equation. Aluminum chloride aqueous in water going to form aluminum 3 plus ions, which are also going to be aqueous, and Cl minus ions. Okay, now the question is, is the equation balanced? It is not, right? Because we have three chloride ions in each aluminum chloride. So we need to put a three right here. So the ion to solute ratio between chloride ions and aluminum chloride is three to one. And between aluminum ions and aluminum chloride is one to one. Okay, so now from here we can find the ion molarity because the ratio of aluminum chloride to aluminum ions is 1 to 1. That means that I'm going to have the same concentration of aluminum ions as aluminum chloride. So the molarity of aluminum 3 plus ions in this solution is going to be the same as the molarity of aluminum chloride, 0 0.714 mole per liters. And if I want to calculate the molarity of chloride ions, Cl minus ions, I will need to take the molarity of aluminum chloride and simply multiply it by 3. But let me show you how to do it using a conversion factor. So you have 0 0.714 mole per liters of aluminum chloride. And then you multiply that by the conversion factor where the moles per liter of aluminum chloride are on the bottom and the mole per liters of chloride ions are on top and the ratio is for each mole per liter of aluminum chloride we are going to form three mole per liters of chloride ions so if you simply do this calculation you are going to get 2.142 mole per liters. Okay, I hope this makes sense. The concentration of aluminum ions in this case 0.714 mole per liters and the concentration of chloride ions is three times of that. 
2.142 mol per liters. Have a great day and see you in the next video.